Okay, this is that used BBS HD uh, controller that has the two lines cut off of the bottom of it. Okay, let's see what we get. The lines that are cut off are the um, shift sensor and uh, headlight headlight wire, which I don't use those ones anyhow, so that's perfectly fine. I asked the guy if it's uh, fully functional with no error codes, and he says it is. So, this is what we're going to do. I'll have to put some uh, new battery terminals on it. Yeah. Yeah, I have to put some new battery terminals on it. Yeah. They cut them off. Wonder why they cut them off though. Hmm. Oh well. Let's see. Here are the two lines that they cut off. Here. Right there. And the one is the speed sensor. Uh, shift sensor, I mean. And the other one's the headlight. But uh, hopefully when they cut them off, it didn't short anything else out. So, I'm going to go ahead and swap it out, but what I need to do first is put some terminal ends on it. Where's my power wires? Here we go. Okay. There's that. Two powers right here. Here we go. So I have to put two on this. Let's see. I could solder them on or just go ahead and crimp a set on it, which I have plenty of them. So, should I, okay, coming off of the battery, so I need the female, or the male, yeah, the male plug for this. T60 connector. Yep. So, what we'll do my crimpers and cutters. Gotta find my crimpers. Huh. Look where my crimpers are at. So I'll put 
put that inside the house. And now I can use this. Uh, my crumpers. Okay, I have to go find my crumpers. Well, finally found my crumpers. <coughs> With some good crimpers, these channel locks. And they're guaranteed forever. So my connector box. Okay, see the, these are the crank, heat shrink ones, I think. So, I think, yeah, heat shrink. The heat shrink these after you crimp them. So, here we go. Let's see if this is the right size. Probably most likely the yellow ones. Yep, yellow ones. And these crimp, they crimp. <laughs> they really crimp. <laughs> when they crimp. Okay, should have put a long, yeah, let me give you the longer one. Yeah, there's a new one, so we'll do it this way. And uh, crimp them opposite of what you did the first one. So that way you get a solid connection. And it ain't going to come out. Nice solid connection. There we go. That's it for those. My heat gun. Okay. Is 
a heat gun used for shrinking this kind of stuff. I don't know if these are going to work or not. I don't know. Well, these sh heat shrink ones don't seem to work very well. Well, the one is. Okay, there's that one. Let's try this one now. See the little scoop at the end that uh, makes the heat go all the way around the connector rather than uh, having to spin uh, the heat gun around. It does it for you with that little scoop on the end of it. So all you really have to do is go back and forth on it. That looks good. Shrinked it pretty nice. Shrinked it pretty nice. Uh, this one could use probably use a little bit more. Let's see here at the end. Ooh, this is hot. There we go. That's better. Cool down. There's a cool down phase on uh, the heat gun. Heat gun has a cool down. Ooh, it's hot, hot. Okay, now back now to the bike. Now we go to the bike. I like to do my bikes upside down uh, when I change out uh, any kind of controller or any kind of work on them, unless it's uh, handlebars or something like that. I like to work on them upside down. So we'll continue at that point. Okay, now here's what we do. Flip the bike upside down. Okay. So, like that. Ugh. Okay, now cut the old one out. Okay, there's the old controller disconnected. Now, we'll take it off. 
you don't have to take any of this off to change the controllers. Okay. Uh, well, finding the right size. small. It's definitely not it. Yeah, that's definitely too small. You know, it's never a run when you want it. The right one. Huh. Never a run when you want the right one. But that's okay. We'll find one. when you want the stuff. Never run when you want it. That's like one of the one of the most popular sizes. That's definitely not it, that's for sure. I would have thought that other one was it. Oh, that one is it. No, it's not. Not unless that uh, screw is stripped out, which I don't think it is. Huh. This is the size. Let's see if they'll come off. No, that is the wrong size. Huh. Hmm. Okay, well, what about a T-handle? Uh. Okay, next size smaller. Oh, there's so much crud in there. Yeah. So much crud in them. Yeah, that one comes off. Maybe I should put some new screws in it. Yeah, just tap. Just tap with the little. And, and see. Hmm.
past them a little bit. Yeah, some screws. Yeah, I need to put new uh, screws in these. Got a lot of corrosion. I wonder. And see if it'll break it loose. There we go. Yep. Came off. Yeah, definitely going to put new screws in it. That's for sure. Oh, where's my tea? inside that's a good thing see everything just unplugs that's a nice thing about these uh, controllers everything just unplugs Just like that. That's how you remove a BBS HD controller. Now this one, we'll plug on. I think what I'll do is I'll spray some cleaner in there. This is just regular contact cleaner. Everything seems to be okay. No corrosion or anything on any of the fittings. Uh -uh. None. That's a good thing. Okay. Here. This one. They broke the clip off on this controller. Yeah. Ugh. That's okay. I'll still get it uh, fit correctly. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Feels like it's plugged in. Yeah, it is. Then, this is the picky one, which I'll use a pair of needle nodes, I think, to make it a little easier on myself. Quick it. 
Poi qui. Ok. Blowen. Can't get these wrong. <laughs> you can't get them wrong. <laughs> And the green. I think the hardest part is fitting it back in the outing. Squeezing it all in there. That's the hardest part of the whole thing. Get it all plugged in good. Good, good. Okay. My rubber gasket. Okay, because these have got to squish over a certain way for it to fit. That was not squishing. There it is. Okay, it's in there. Oh. Now, got my uh, spare BBSHD parts and some screws. These should be the right, the right ones because they're a uh, miniature size. One, full, three. Yep, right here. Three new screws. Where's my T handle? in place. Okay, just snug them up. Because you got the rubber gasket. You don't want the rubber gasket to pop out just like it did there. Just tighten this one down. That rubber gasket to stay in there. There we go. That's better.
Okay, that's that. Now, now, okay, my free center is the main harness. Let's go up through there. speed sensor uh, is it long enough to reach through there or not I don't know if it is or not mm, that's tight yeah that's tight uh, let's take it on the underside yeah uh, just to be able to make sure we have plenty that cloth electrical tape. Really good stuff. Oh, just ran out too. <laughs> then at the end of it, I put a small wire tie so it doesn't unravel. There. There and there. Now we do here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I have to use two of them. Or should I just go ahead and use the larger ones? Yeah, I'll go ahead and use the larger ones. I know y'all can't see much, but it's pretty simple to install one of these. Uh, it's not like it's really difficult. It's just the reason I'm filming this is because this is a used one. And the gentleman that I bought it from on eBay guarantees it to uh, be fully functional. So we're going to find out for sure whether it really is or not. Because he says it is. So we'll find out if it is or not. See if it pops up with any error codes or anything. That's what we're concerned about. Let's see if it'll pop up with any error codes. Another reason I'm filming it is to say, to show this guy, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to these motors and how to install them. So, I know what I'm talking about. <sighs> Go ahead and put a little. Uh, this isn't necessary, but it's here, so I'll just go ahead and put it on here. It's what I call pretty wrap. <laughs> this makes it kind of, uh, you know, kind of a professional look, I guess you, you would say that. Kind of a professional look. Okay, I've got to go out of, out of that one. So I'm going to come out and then around. I found out to be when you put this stuff on, if you don't put something like here at the beginning, like a really small wire tie or something like that. These, I don't know why, this plastic, after it heats up or something, it unravels or something? I don't know why, it just does. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't, but it does. But doing it this way, it looks much more professional as well. And it holds the thing in place too. There, there. Okay, we'll put one on the inside here. Put one on the inside here. That way, the tire can't hit it. Rip it in two. Yeah. There. Uh, maybe I should put some more pretty stuff on it. Let's see. Okay. Everything's plugged on. Okay, here's the battery one. 
Yep, definitely long enough for sure. Okay, we're connected. Okay, let's hit power. Okay. Okay. See if she turns on. Okay. We got ignition. We have nothing. Huh. So this is disconnected. There. I'm assuming. Okay. Where's my backup display? strange. Why would the throttle cause that? Why would the throttle cause that? Hmm. Try that again. I'm going to have to check the programming of this thing. Let me try my backup display. Let me check the programming of this thing. This controller. Here's my backup display. It's coming on. Okay, now this display has the odometer part bad. Nothing. Kind of looks like I'm going to have to check the programming of it, of this controller. So far, it's not looking good.
Okay. I'm going to have to turn this around. So I can put the face of it right here. So I can put the programming cable up to it. Okay, let's turn it on. This is how you access the programming on the controllers. Plug it on, turn it on, then you unplug the display and plug your programmable cable to it. There. Now, <laughs> that's all my BBS HD extra stuff. Okay. Okay, now we're going to go into the programming of this thing and see what it is. See what the settings are. Like conversion software, it should be on here too on the C drive. I can run okay yeah I can run it directly off of here okay now uh, where's my uh, programming tool there it is controller is this the BBS HD one yeah it is okay okay I I think, uh, let's see, I don't know what com it puts that on. Okay, let's find out. Device manager. Ah. Uh, device manager. What com port did it put it on? Com 6. What com 6? Connect. Okay. It's definitely a BBS03, uh, BBS3. Uh, uh, read flash. Let's read the flash. Okay, it's set up for 26 inch. Okay, no throttle on zero. Yeah, they, they got this thing. Uh, Set up wrong. Uh, 
because I had this set up exactly like uh, the DK bike. Programmed identical. It's showing version 1.4 hardware. Okay, okay, now file. Okay, now this is the original. Okay, I'm going to keep this. Save. Uh, uh, we'll save it as used control. Use controller. DL. Save. Okay. Uh, close. Okay. Okay, controller at four point. Okay, here we go. All right. Here's the one I wanted. Com six connect. Read. Read the flash. Okay. And it was sis. Yeah, he's got it all programmed wrong. Okay, we'll say save as used. Use controller. Dot el. Okay, I'm gonna save the original. Files. Save. Okay, now file load. Okay, where's my wolf track? Load. No, I want the DK. DK programming. Load. Uh, there. And I'll assist. How's that look? Looks good. Right okay. Basic. Right to flash. Okay. Close the connection. Okay, well, we'll do another connection. Com six. Connect. Read the flash. Okay, it took it. Okay. Oh, yeah. It uh, programmed it perfectly fine. Okay. 
How many pentaos cis? Nine, okay. Okay, you start current 10. Yep, yep. Everything's good. Good. Close the connection. Okay, turn it off. Disconnect your uh, cable. Reconnect your display. Where's my display plug? Where's my display plug? Oh, 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 there it is. Uh, right in front of me. Okay, there. There we go. Now, let's see what it does. Just power. Turns on. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, how about pedaling? The pedal assist works. Okay, we got we got juice. Okay. I'm thinking my throttle's no good. That's what I'm thinking. Where's my new throttles? Ah. I'm thinking my throttle's no good. Squeeze me. Okay, now let's see. No error codes yet. Thirty one point eight with no load. It's about right because uh, uh, my top speed with me on it is twenty eight. So that's about right. Okay, so far it's working. Let's see here. Let's go around this way. And Turn it on. Okay, I'm on pedal assist one. Here's my throttle. This is my new throttle that I gotta put on. The old throttle, I guess, is bad. And 
It's in third gear, 31.8 miles per hour. That's a top speed with no load. First gear, top speed, isn't very fast. I think it's like 17. That's first gear, 17.8. Second gear, Twenty three point eight. Third gear, thirty one point eight. So it is definitely fully functioning. No error codes. And my wolf track is back in business again, fully functional. Okay, that was just changing a BBS HD controller. It's not very difficult, as you saw. Uh, it was a used one that I had bought from eBay for $75, plus shipping. So it cost me $100 for it. But the new controller is 150 bucks minimum plus shipping so this was well worth the chance of a hundred dollars because the gentleman uh, was honest about it and it uh, fully functions as he had stated thanks for watching